How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels, and welcome to season four of Bungo Stray Dogs. Look at us getting all caught up, or, you know, rather, sprinting to the finish line before season five comes out. Whether it was a casual stroll or a desperate sprint, all that matters is that we're here now, and we're here together. I'm very excited for this season, actually, because season three, um, was not good, uh, some might say at all. I didn't care for it. Uh, the first two episodes, not bad, uh, but the whole rest of the season, just really not up to the standards that season one and two it put in place. But everyone's been telling me that season three was just a means to an end, because season four is apparently hype as hell. So let's find out whether or not you filthy savages have been lying to me. But first, I gotta thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare offers thousands of ad-free courses that allow you to expand your creative horizons, as well as develop and sharpen the skills you need to unlock new career possibilities. You may know Skillshare for their classes in photography, film and video editing, and illustration. But did you know that Skillshare also has hundreds of career-focused classes as well? Some of you may have already noticed, but I'm a... I, I'm a bit of a mess. I've got dozens of projects I want to work on, coupled with an overwhelming fear of failure, which ultimately culminates in me getting none of those projects done. But Emma Gannon's course on building creative confidence taught me how to overcome perfectionism by helping me understand that creating a first draft, regardless of quality, is infinitely better than never starting at all. Which sounds like small advice, but it's incredibly insightful for somebody like me who's trying to break into the film industry. And that's the thing, thinking about the future is incredibly intimidating, especially when it comes to learning new skills. So it's great that Skillshare encourages you to start small and build your way up to more advanced lessons. But the best part about Skillshare is that it lets you learn whatever you want, whenever you want, all at your own pace. And now, Skillshare is offering one month free to any of my viewers that use the link in the description below. But for the month of April only, they're running an even better offer. If you're ready to start learning today with Skillshare, you can get 40% off your first year by using my link. I'll leave both links down below so you can choose which offer is best for you. Thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and now, on the episode. We're the only ones who can make use of your powers. Get over here. From this point on, I've decided I'm going to start working alone. Oh my god, are we getting the president's backstory? I dare them to make this character interesting. This is the most boring character in the entire show. This is like my second least favorite character next to... She's a why are Rompo and the boss the only two characters in this opening? Is this a Rompo and the boss season? Is this a season about my two least favorite characters? The only redeeming aspect about Rompo was his voice actor, and I don't even like that anymore. You're on thin ice, Bungo. You better choose your next moves carefully. I am organizing them. Why? I suspect that the murderer had intended to either steal these specific documents. Also, now if I have an accident on the floor, Mommy won't be upset with me. Did this guy gasp because he was impressed with the boss's athleticism? Or because he just realized he can't do any of that and has just trapped himself in a sea of paper? Which means he must be the famous underground child assassin. But if this boy truly is Sakonosuke Oda... Oh wait, is this Oda's origin story? Oh wild, we're still bringing up Oda two seasons later? Oh my god, look at him, he's so young. As for you... Hey there! Huh? is Rompo? I thought Rompo was like 19. How is he the same age in Oda's backstory? Wait, how old is Rompo? Rompo is 26? He's eight years older than Atsushi? That's insane. This dude's got a whole ass 401k and he can't ride the subway on his own. Do you have any food? Pardon? Here we go again, looking down at me like I'm some kid. Okay, first off, ouch. Not my fault. You look like you're 14 and need a balanced diet of icing and gummy bears. Second, did they change his voice actor again? Cause he's sounding a lot closer to what he used to sound like in the earlier seasons. Forget it. I'll find it myself. And don't you worry, I'll be done quick. Boy, there's a mountain of documents on the floor. How are you planning to find yours? Look, I don't mean to be a dick, but there is objectively not a mountain of documents on the floor. Okay, that's why they're on the floor. There's a sea of documents, a field of documents, perhaps. If you stacked all the documents up, then maybe you'd have a mountain. But currently, as it stands, Your Honor, the defense does not recognize a mountain of documents on the floor in question. Plus, it's printed on thicker paper than the rest of it. No, don't! 
That was badass. What a clever way to assert himself as a girl boss. None of the documents have been stolen, and the assassin you have in the other room didn't kill the president. Like, you're the murderer anyway, right, secretary? What a girl boss! What an absolute baby boss bitch! There's no way even the best assassin could get close to the president without being noticed. Just look, the door is right in view of his desk. Okay, but you guys live in a world where every third person has some sort of crazy literary ability. It's not that crazy to assume somebody could have snuck in without being noticed. Fukuzawa, just get this bread out of here right this second! You were able to get the assassin's fingerprints because you were the one who hired the assassin in the Shut up! I love seeing this guy go from, please, this is ridiculous, Fukuzawa, get this child out of here, to, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I... Hmm... Are there any physicists in the comments? Can I get a fact check on this? There is no forgiveness in this world. No. The only thing we have is revenge. My friend in college once said something like this, and it was the most psychotic thing I'd ever heard. He told me that everything we do, we do either for sex or revenge. And if you- if you think about it, it kind of makes a terrifying amount of sense. Hmm, from the beginning. <laughs> The secretary was wearing a coat, right? When have you ever seen anyone wearing a coat while sorting documents? Your sleeves are getting in the way. What? What are you talking about? Arrest this kid! That guy just got murdered for sorting documents with a coat on. On a day that everyone agreed was exceptionally windy and cold. That- that's canon too, that's in the episode. So that's it? You're talking to a homeless 14-year-old boy who's lost his parents, his job, and his future. That's all you've got? What a great sales pitch. I genuinely respect Rompo's initiative here. What a, what a great swing and a hit. A theater? I don't know why I didn't mention this earlier, but I do love this weird new aesthetic. Like the black and white with a few color accents, it, it looks super cool. It's funny though that they're assumedly doing this <laughs> for no reason. Like, it's not like they're doing this to show us that it's a flashback. This isn't the first flashback we've seen. Damn, grown-ups are so quick to get angry. <sighs> now I understand why you can never hold on to a job. Is it because he's a colossal dick? Don't you know what an actor has to do to prepare for a performance? We dive into another world, and then we become different people. I love seeing actors forced to play even more pretentious actors. Like, I love knowing that this voice actor probably got into the booth and was like, All right, drinks at my place tonight, boys? Oh, you better believe we're ordering room service. I'm not talking about just for food. <laughs> All right, give me one sec. Do you know how difficult it is being an actor? Stepping into the role of another human being. The amount of focus. The raw concentration that it takes. Boy. Huh? So I see. Hmm? If you think that the script is boring, then I guess it must be boring. Doc, he got through the first page. Rompo didn't even get to the premise. Don't give him validation. No, <laughs> tell me. Some love affair. Maybe someone in the cast decided to sleep with a crazed fan. Or they broke up and decided to quit uh... the play. <laughs> Guys. Can I level with you real quick? I would be so down for a romantic subplot involving Rompo. Rompo finding a girl that's equally as obnoxious as him, but makes him happy anyway, would become my favorite media. A threat is, you better do ABC for me, or I'm gonna do XYZ to you. But right now, all we have is a warning, saying we're going to kill one of the performers in your play. Nice, it only took four seasons for this show to say something actually clever. He's convinced that everyone else already knows the truth. And that most people are simply pretending that they don't know. Okay, honestly, that was pretty good too. So far, the writing seems slightly improved from the first three seasons. But it's still losing points for that time Rompo had a guy killed for wearing a coat while doing paperwork. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you alright? Uh, 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 yeah. Just startled is all. No one's ever screamed at me so loud that they knocked me off my feet before and broke all my ribs. What the hell am I doing? I had already made my decision, and I decided I'd work alone. 
Imagine finding Rompo so charming you break your I work alone rule. Imagine being that bad judge of character. Brief episode transition, if you like what you're seeing here and you want to get more content not found anywhere else, make sure you consider subscribing to my Patreon, where you'll get access to exclusive reaction videos each month. Right now I'm reacting to Blue Lock, I've already got the full reaction to season 1 of Food Wars up there. You'll also get access to my exclusive Discord server and access to all the recordings of the live streams I've done in the past and will do in the future. On top of that, you'll just be helping out the page a ton, so you're getting a lot of bonus exclusive content, access to chatting with me on Discord, and you're helping ensure that I can keep on putting out content as frequently as I do. If all that sounds good to you, make sure you check out my Patreon. Link will be in the description below. Now, on the next one. And it will be carried out by someone here. The angels of death shall bring true devastation upon the performers of this theater. Okay, wait, hold on. So flashbacks are in black and white, but flashbacks within flashbacks are in color? That's so funny. That's so cool. I love that it's cyclical for some reason. Why doesn't anyone get upset at being forced to sit through a show with such an obvious ending? Hey, stop. He's the murderer, isn't he? Why do you take Rompo places? Leave him locked in a room and bring him evidence when you find it. This guy's insufferable in public. Knock it off right this minute. Why? Why is everyone watching this play without complaining about the dialogue? It really upsets me. Wow, he sounds like me every time I watch a new Marvel movie. I don't get it. I'm scared. It's like the world is filled with monsters. Monsters that only I don't understand. <laughs> what? Why am I almost kind of crying? Don't f- Don't- Ooh! Don't you start fucking developing Rompo! Alright, don't you fucking do it! I could no longer tell whether I was murdering for my country, or simply for the moment of the kill. Don't fucking start making me care about both of these characters! What is this? Don't- Don't fucking start caring about quality all of a sudden! I don't wanna care about these characters! Just wanna sit here and complain! Like a 14 year old on Reddit. All the other people in the world are fools compared to you. And that includes me as well. The reason you feel alone in this world is because you have a special talent that others only dream of. Oh my god, this is so crazy. He's the one who told him Rompo has an ability? Wait, this is so sad now that it's been revealed that Rompo knows he doesn't have abilities. Oh man. And so this, so Rompo's 14. So this is, he's 26, this is 12 years before present day. So that scene where Rompo kind of reveals he knows he doesn't have abilities is him being like, I spent 12 years like making everybody hate me and being an asshole. I can't go back now. I can't, I, I'll be the world's biggest idiot if I admit to it now. Why is this like the best content in the entire series? And it stars these two. I feel like, I'm really feeling like I've said that before. <laughs> when, when have I said that last? Like there was another uncharacteristically good bit. Was it the backstories of season three? I'm the only one who's special. The truth is. I'm waiting. It's because you're gifted. I love that it took him so long to come up with that lie. It's almost as if he had a full anime internal monologue that we just didn't get to hear. Interesting. Here. I don't need glasses. You're damn right you don't need glasses. Rompo just saw him pull those out without even opening his eyes. This shot of Rompo has to be self-aware, right? You mean everyone around me is just a stupid idiot? That's right. Just ignorant? So they actually don't know anything at all? Yes, that's right. Um, okay, wait a second. I think we're getting off track here. All that's left is for you to open your mind to the world. Open my mind to the world? Hmm. You mean this creepy world we're living in? This creepy world full of dumb, stupid, ignorant idiots? All that suffering I went through wasn't because there's something wrong with me, but instead it was because there was something wrong with all the people around me? Y yes Sure, sure. I don't know. I feel like this lie has gotten dangerously out of hand. Rombo's getting dangerously close to sending a few don't come to school tomorrow texts. Is that what that means? They are all nothing more than clueless children. Would a helpless newborn baby have the knowledge to despise someone? Yo, that... <laughs> the, 
That was so cool. No one ever really despised me at all. It was all in my head. Okay, thank God he took the right message from that. Things are pretty touch and go there for a bit. Don't worry about me. After all, you said it yourself. I'm the world's greatest detective. And I am on a mission to protect all of the world's idiots. I'm gonna say this once. And I want anybody repeating it. And I do not say this lightly. But I may be... Sort of like Rompo. We are blood. Call an ambulance. Inform the police what happened and lock the theater down immediately. What's what? going on? Is he dead? Um, yeah, probably. The guy exploded live on stage. Thank you for your service. I overheard that someone fled from the audience. Yes. I'm sure that we handled the lockdown of the theater according to official procedure. But it seems someone's vanished. I guarantee this cop is the murderer. This show loves pulling that. It's literally their favorite twist. I genuinely think every season has actually had a twist like that. Where the person investigating the murder has turned out to actually be the real murderer. It happened in season one when we were first introduced to Rompo. I remember it happened in the, in the limo with Kunikita and Dazai with that limo driver who was like, the poisoning people and shit. It happened just now. That's three out of four seasons at least. I guarantee it must have happened in season two and three. I bet I bet each season has one. Oh, season two, when Rompo gets sucked into Poe's book, the twist is that Rompo's the murderer. That counts. But if you want to catch Seabree, well then, you're going to have to use the tasty shrimp you just caught as bait. That's so convoluted. That is by far the least convoluted plan this show has suggested. I'll make it simpler for all your little brains. I'm gifted and a brilliant detective. Anyway, let's get to the part where it's all solved. Yeah, I hope you are regretting your choices. You're the one who ruined Rompo. What? When did you realize my plan? Did nobody check this guy's pulse? Yeah, I assumed he was dead, but I'm not the police. My job is to be obnoxious, and I, I've fulfilled that plenty. Rompo. These glasses are awesome. Thanks for giving them to me. These glasses are awesome. Did you see that guy kill himself? I did that. To have you explain the resolution of the case down at our station. Sure, but could you write it on my work permit? Mm -hmm. It's all thanks to my special ability. I still don't trust this guy. He's way too hot not to be a main character. And considering he's not in any of the present day stuff, I have to assume he's a villain. It seems like you still have a lot of cleaning up to do here. So I'll see you at the police station later. All right. Zero chance this cop doesn't try to kill Rompo on the drive to the police station. Hey officer, are we there yet? Very soon, sir. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, who could have seen that coming? Here, hold on, let me put on my special glasses and deduce it. Oh wait, it was a me. There's one thing I can always count on Bungo Stray Dogs uh, being, it's terrible at mysteries. That being said, maybe the best two episodes of the entire series, right? Like, like, absolutely the best two episodes. These were so good. Rompo's little breakdown at the theater was genuinely, like, goosebump-inducing. Dude, it was goosing bumps all over me. It was crazy. I don't know. I just love, like, a deconstruction of a character trope, you know? Rompo is skyrocketed to being the most complex character in the entire series. I, I wonder... If, fight me in the comments on that if you want. Because I wonder if some people will say Dazai is. But I really think Dazai is like pseudo deep. I think Dazai is just like, I don't know. Like, Sada, Dazai is so like surface layer complex. I think Rompo is like actually genuinely a fantastic written character. But anyway, that's just uh, my little uh, analysis. Uh, and let me know, as always, what you guys thought of the video in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite jokes from the video were as well. It helps me and Tom make uh, TikToks and short form stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Lay down, let the tide is so